Hello and welcome. You're watching NDTV 24/7. I'm Akash Das Gupta. Now, 11 years after he last served as the BCCI president, Jagmohan Dalmia is now back at the helm of cricketing affairs in the country. On the show today, we will have Mr. Bimal Soni, former deputy president of the Rajasthan Cricket Association, senior editor of ESPN Cricket Info, Sharda Ugra, and my colleague Amitot Singh, who is in Chennai and covered every minute of the BCCI elections for us, will also join us. Now, if you thought that N. Shrinivasan, who is officially no longer the BCCI president, is completely out of the picture, well then think again. If you don't count the president's post, the Shrinivasan camp now controls seven of the eight posts in the BCCI. Former BCCI president N. Srinivasan might have been forced to give up on his dream of staying on for another year as BCCI boss, but he won't be entirely unhappy. Not only does he get to stay on as the ICC chairman, but a man he once considered his mentor will take over from him as president of the board. Chakmohan Dalmia, a consensus candidate for both factions, given his four-decade-long experience as an administrator in Indian cricket, will return as head of the world's richest cricket body. I think he is more experienced now, and he will try and bring board back to his pedestal, which it should be. And I am sure he will, he was the right old man to balance the factions and unite the board again. Anurag Thakur, Joint Secretary, now takes over as the new BCCI Secretary. Amitabh Chaudhary, an IPS officer, takes over as the new Joint Secretary, while Anirudh Chaudhary, son of former BCCI President Ranbir Singh Mahindra, remains as the Treasurer. The election for the most of these posts were a pitched battle. Thakur, a member of the ruling BJP party, beat incumbent Sanjay Patel for the post of the BCCI secretary by a solitary vote. Amitabh Chaudhary needed a casting vote from Chairman Shivlal Yadav to beat Chetan Desai for the post of joint secretary. While Anurag Chaudhary beat political bigwig and former BCCI vice president Rajiv Shukla to the post of treasurer. Only two of the five vice presidents' posts were up for election, with CK Khanna beating Jyotiraditya Sindhya. Son of former BCCI president Madhura Sindhya, and Kerala's T C Matthew, nominated by the Baroda Cricket Association, beating incumbent Ravi Savant for the vice president's post from the West Zone. In fact, all five BCCI vice presidents are now from the Srinivasan faction, giving the Chennai strongman a hold on eight of the nine posts in the BCCI. With Amitabh Singh in Chennai, in New Delhi, Jaydi Bhandarkar for N D T V. Victory for the cleansing of cricket and the cricket to which we have we are waited, and we want the these things to come with the entire flying colours. All right, let's uh, first up go across to Amitoj, who joins us live from Chennai. Amitoj, thanks so much for joining us. Now, the anti-Shrinivasan faction at the moment is claiming that Shivlal Yadav chaired the AGM in a very quote-unquote undemocratic manner. Apparently, Baroda Cricket Association representative Rakesh Parikh was disqualified from voting, and that had a bearing on the overall results. What can you add to that? Well, very quickly, Akash. What I can tell you is that the Baroda Cricket Association had one vote in this entire election, but they had two nominees for that. The managing committee of the Baroda Cricket Association elected Rajiv pa uh, Rakesh Parekh as the man who would actually vote. But the president, at the last minute, decided that he would come out here, Samarjit Singh Gaikwad, and decide that he would vote and that he doesn't actually r ratify what the managing committee has passed. So that basically turned the tables because Rakesh Parekh was supposed to vote for Sharad Pawar's faction. Instead, came Samarjit Singh Gaikwad, who voted. The other way, and that's why it was actually all about one vote, which is why Anurag Thakur actually won by 15-14. Also, what I can tell you is that some people decided not to vote, so there were some blank papers, or can I say, nota out there. That made this election very interesting because we don't know in which particular post did who not vote. <laughs> Well, it's very interesting, Amitabh, isn't it? Which way this game of thrones, which is the BCCI power politics, turns out to be? Which way it goes? Let's quickly go across to Sharda Ogra and Bimal Soni, who also join us on the show. Mr. Soni, good evening, sir. If I can quickly come to you first, in an ironic way, would you say that Mr. Shrinivasan, even though he does not hold an official post in the board right now, has a much more firmer grip over the board, considering the fact that the Shrinivasan faction now controls seven out of the eight posts? Well, these seven out of eight votes don't matter. It only matters when it comes to vote. But what matters is how the president governs or rules the board. Because Mr. Dalmia is a very seasoned man, 
and how he conducts the board would be very important. Mr. Dalmey is capable of taking everybody in the board together and with opposition coming from Anurag Thakur who has been elected on Mr. Pawar's uh, group support, things could become very, uh, things could run very well but Mr. Srinivasan would not have the control which he had earlier on. So it will entirely depend on how Mr. Dalmia conducts himself. Although Mr. Srinivasan has proved that he still commands majority in the board in his own way, except for a couple of victories of Mr. Dalmia and Mr. Anurag Thakur, right. he has carried the vote with him today. Right, so Mr. Soni, what you're saying, in other words, is that even though Mr. Srinivasan does have considerable influence in the board, still, he's not as powerful as he was earlier when he was the active president of the BCCI. Absolutely. Because now, a seasoned man like Mr. Dalmia, how much does he permit him to play around is important. Because Mr. Dalmia, when he became the interim president, also took some initiative steps, initiations to rectify the board's working. Right. Though he was not allowed to do so because he was there in the interim capacity. But now, as fully elected president, he can dictate things in the board's administration now. Right, let me take that same question across to Sharda now. Sharda, good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, since we're talking about the only uh, Pavar faction man who's got a plum post in the BCCI and is amongst the top brass, that's Anurag Thakur, who's the new secretary. How do you think the power in the BCCI will be distributed now? Because in many ways, the secretary's post is the second most prominent one after the president's, and he's from the opposite faction. Yeah, I think that is the one result, uh, Akash, that has surprised everyone, particularly the people in, in the Srinivasan, sort of uh, in, his, in his group, who thought that they had pretty much swept the entire, uh, sort of, uh, you know, all the polls that were available. And one more very interesting thing is that at one point uh, yesterday, um, it is said that Mr. Srinivasan offered Anurag Thakur the post of the pres of president, of the BCCI president, and it was turned down. You know, so Anurag Thakur was willing to uh, put his name out there and, uh, uh, you know, challenge uh, for a very important post, which is why you know, the, the way the power structure is, the, the, is going to work here is that it's literally going to be pulling three ways. Uh, you've got uh, Mr. Srinivasan's uh, people on, one, on the, all, the, all the sort of uh, eight or seven or eight uh, posts that there are, plus the, uh, and then you have Mr. Dalmia who will want to obviously put his own stamp on his, um, his, his latest uh, presidentship. And there will be Anurag Thakur who is a younger person and he may be able to carry his way through uh, in, a, in a kind of a discussion with uh, Mr. Dalmia about several decisions. Like Mr. Soni said, uh, Mr. Dalmia has a kind of a management style in which he tries to include everyone um, and, and take everyone along by consensus, which is very, very different from how Mr. Srinivasan operates. So it will be quite interesting uh, to see what happens and, and particularly what sort of clear-cut decisions are taken with reference to uh, IPL regulations uh, uh, to start with. Absolutely. Very interesting point that you make there, Sharda, that possibly the board is going to be pulled in perhaps two or maybe three different directions after the results of these fresh elections which were conducted today in Chennai. Now, since we were talking about Anurag Thakur, he's of course the only man now from the Pawar faction in the board who is in the top brass of the BCCI. Amitoj caught up with him for this exclusive chat. There was an election. Election was held. A new team has taken place. And all of us are going to work in the right direction, to take BCCI into the right direction. As a custodian of the game, I think it is the duty of all of us to take it on the priority basis, the steps which has to be taken to give BCCI a new image and I think to bring in a lot of confidence into the game of cricket. I'm sorry, but may I ask how you're going to single-handedly bring all the image to the BCCI considering out of the eight posi possible positions that were up for elections, seven have been won for the one man who's probably brought down that image of yours in Srinivasan. No, you can't say that. Okay. There's no one man. Mr. Dalmia's election was unanimously, mm -hmm. he was elected unanimously president of the BCCI. As far as the other posts are concerned, in a 30 members board there are many who wants to become the office bearers it was contested 
but after the elections all of us work in the interest of the game majority of the decision taken today was taken unanimously which clearly shows that yes we all as a custodian of the game wants to work in the interest of the game what you're saying is that this is just the first step in cleansing crickets and bcci's image i think bcci has gone through a lot in the past few years all we want is that there should not be any controversy around cricket mr dalmia for more than 17 years mm. we worked together for last 17 years on various platforms within bcci and he is a seasoned administrator he has a experience on his back we have a young team with him and we are here to deliver as far as the cricket is concerned all right let's go back to sharda and mr soni mr soni you heard what sharda had to say before we played out that anurag thakur interview that now the bcci might be pulled in different directions after this particular uh, election uh, how much according to you has the power dynamics in the indian board changed after these new people will take charge and do you now feel that with this change in guard the rajasthan cricket association perhaps can come back into the bcci fold well i don't know what bcci would do but as far as we are concerned we have a court order where no confidence motion is coming on the 9th of march if the motion is passed then we will have fresh elections and if the motion is not passed then mr modi would come back as the president and then it is upon the new board uh cabinet which has to take a decision whether to keep us suspended or take different action but as far as uh, boards working is concerned i am sure with a youngster efficient person like anurag thakur coming in and who's no rubber stamp he would definitely try and bring in new ideas in the gov- governing of the board and he would be ably supported or guided by a old warhouse like mr dalmia who knows all the ins and outs of the board and he's been in the management of the board for last 35 years so i think we are heading for a much improved working in bcci and as i readily said all the people have got the commander it's a small group of 30 people if they are taken along together there's there's lot of harmony even today right. but if they are taken all, along together if somebody tries to maneuver something then all these kinds of mishaps and these kinds of confusions and this kind of uh, deterioration of the board's prestige takes place right sharda mr soni they're saying that hopefully the the way that the bcci functions will see perhaps a sea change now will undergo a sea change now that you'll have new people taking over do you believe in that do you really agree with that because as sports journalist we know that one thing that we keep harping upon is how uh, non transparent the bcci is do you think that will change now that there are new people at the helm of affairs I'm not exactly sort of leaping over with excitement at the, the the fact that there are sort of new people. I mean, we have to remember that um, someone like uh, Jyotra Ditya Sindhya, who represents the sort of youth side of uh, BCCI politics, has got sort of royally stamped on uh, in the election by Mr. C K Khanna, who's been around for more than I don't know twenty twenty five years right. in uh, uh, DDCA. So there is a certain fundamental. um uh, you know sort of old guard that is still there and it really de- and and all the changes that happened in the bcci have taken place if there are individuals that are willing to sort of take leaps of faith and jump and make change whether it was mr bindra and mr dalmia uh, in the 90s or right. whether it was mr srinivasan in his own way uh, you know in the last say t- uh, 10 years the way he was able to sort of uh, uh, come in and, and take control uh, the uh, running the bcci is, is actually a case of uh, controlling it and it depends on the manner in which you control it either you can control it um like uh, mr dalmia did you know with a certain amount of let's take everyone along or like mr srinivasan did which is um, is my way or the highway and there and, and just one thing very quickly right. the reason why mr srinivasan enjoyed such great loyalty was also because of fear of the fear that he may be still he may still be able to come back hmm. and if he comes back then what happens to us then our association will get stamped on very you know badly or, or what is going to go on and the fact that this election has been slightly almost 50 50 in in all the thing in all the uh, um, sort of positions that were fought for tells you that maybe there's a little shift not much because there are still a lot of afraid people in the in the bcci yeah. i would think